here it is all back together um just uh it is at this point i realize i'm a terrible youtuber because i don't i just steam ahead and forget about filming it so uh it's it's basically still tonight it's the end of the evening um everything's back in there grinder plates are back in only thing i realized is that this um, wheel doesn't clock anywhere in particular it's just gripped by little um little sharp bits that bite into it so I've, I've wound it in until it stops and backed it off until the uh, existing sort of dents where it was held in before lined up so I'm hoping that's right so we're gonna gonna find out that's all all clean in there now um yeah that's is that a hole there no it's not a hole it's just I don't know what that is Pretty sure there wasn't a plate in there. No, there wasn't anything in there. Uh, it's all come up really well. All the plastics come up nicely. Uh, this is just a push fit. I'm pleased I bought, I watched a video of someone else do this because I didn't realize this was a push fit when I was trying to work out how to get that off already. Uh, I'm gonna stick some beans in it. Don't judge my beans, please, because I've just bought some Audi ones because I thought I'm not gonna throw some expensive bean through it. Here we go. Let's see what happens. That's turned on. It moves. Let's just open it out a little bit. We smell nice. We're getting a good view here. Whoa, look at that. Goes straight out the hole though. a bit coarse it does look a bit coarse let's close that down a bit take that off Look at that. I haven't bought myself a tamper yet. That's in my basket, ready to go. But I think for someone who's never actually used these machines before and just watching YouTube videos of other people do it, that looks very similar. Quite fine seems reasonably consistent I'd say that's a pretty good grinder I think 
That's on setting three. Fantastic. Oh, it smells great. It smells fantastic. 